you know, Mouser doesn't like me. You don't like all. each other. Well, Mouser, he's never liked me. You know why he didn't like me? No. Well, that's how he he worked his way into the business by getting to know certain wrestlers. And these certain wrestlers, if they had a bitch against another wrestler, they'd let it be known to Meltzer. And then he'd go on his show, and it was inside info. But And then he'd get another one and get another one. And, and a lot of wrestlers weren't, just wanted to be mentioned. So they would call him up with whatever's going on. That's how he knew a lot of stuff was going on. Because, and he, I don't know how many of these people he paid. I'm sure he paid some of them, but a lot of them just did it for their own personal gain, which is not, I don't, I don't think that's, I, I can't say it's right or not. It is business. And most wrestlers are actually in it for themselves because let's face it, wrestling is a short lived business. <clears throat> Hardly anybody gets into the business saying, oh, I'm going to retire in this business. You can't do that. You can't start at 20 and say, oh, I'm going to be done by 40. I'm going to be out of the business. Well, you you might think that. But when 40 comes around, you've got a couple of kids and a house note, car payment, living, groceries, paying bills, insurance. Well, then you kind of need an income. I mean, being done at 40, you could be, but you'd have to save a lot of money to do it. And you'd have to do something else, of course. Did that's you say, that's did my you in, inside. <laughs> it sounded like you said you went house, but then it sort of sounded like houseboat. House. I didn't say houseboat. <laughs> I like the idea of you on a houseboat at 40. Oh, uh, yeah. You. I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, with Mel Smith, hey, we might specifically, have to, though, we, 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 not, we might have to put up a, a caption, a closed caption thing. Mm. Houseboat so vision. Uh, <laughs> right, so, hey, somebody, somebody complained about my cigar. Yes. Why? They said, why? Why don't you light it? Why don't you do this? I don't know. Why don't I go fly a plane? One thing is I can't. Second is I don't really smoke cigars. I just, I'm more of a cigar chewer. So... I want to know people that don't like my cigar or people that do write me at dirty at gmail.com. You should know it now by memory and just ask me some questions. Mm. D- you didn't quite qualify why you don't think Meltzer likes you though, in that sense. I know why, you know, there's certain people who would okay. give him information. I'm sure. Did he ever make an overture towards you to ask for information? No, not really. Well, why do you think he doesn't like you then? Why didn't he like me? Uh, he came to a Smoky Mountain show. And he wanted to talk to me. And I brushed him off because he had said some things negatively toward me. Mm-hmm. And I didn't much appreciate it. So I refused to talk to him. And he didn't make any overtures to talk to me either. So apparently he didn't give a crap. I didn't give a crap with nothing to be gained by that. So I took that as he didn't much much like me. Maybe I took it wrong. I don't know. There you go. But he but he has blocked me on X on Twitter. He has blocked me. Does that break so, your heart? Kills me, brother. It just kills me. 